Okay, I, in this video, I'm going to discuss about what we call as the equation of value. Okay, um, equation of value is obtained by setting the sum of the values on a certain comparison or focal date of one set of obligation equal to the sum of the values on the same date of another set of obligations. Okay, I will explain later. Uh, this is used when there is a need to replace a set of debts by another set of different amounts due to due at different time. So, mara sa og kanang resultant bida resultant sa mechanics ba na um, several forces a system of several forces you can replace it by a single force having the same effect so mara same analogous ani ang equation of value na um, okay. like for example this one a single payment on the fifth year can settle these two debts. So, example, na kay 15,000 pesos due in three years, diba? and another payment, 20,000 due in seven years. So, instead na twice ka mangan, twice ang mong value nun, isa na lang. Okay? Uh, on the fifth year, I replace any more by a single payment. As a equation of yan ang kampo sa equation of value. Ang gamit niya ba? Equation of value. So, bale, if we go back to this, uh, set the sum, iset, i-add ni mo ang sum sa one set of obligation equal to I mean, equal to the sum equal to the sum of the value sum, sorry, sum remains SUM, on the same date of another set of obligations. So, same data, same ilang reference, but same ilang focal date. Another. Okay. So, to better understand uh, equation of value, let us solve a sample problem. Okay. <clears throat> this is a problem. A man bought a lot worth 1 million pesos if paid in cash. On the installment basis, he paid a down payment of 200,000 pesos. 300,000 pesos at the end of one year, 400,000 pesos at the end of three years, and a final payment at the end of five years. What was the final payment if interest was 20%. We are going to solve this problem in many ways. Okay? So the first one is this. This is your time scale from 0 to 5, 5 years in the last month. Okay. So you have 1 million. Okay. Kung cash, ne? Okay. Tapos lagi mo payment installment, there's a uh, in the lower part, no? Sa diagram ni mo. Okay. He paid a down payment of 200,000. So, nakai down payment na 200,000. And then, 300,000 at the end of one year. And then, 400,000 at the end of three years. And then, a final payment at the end of Five years. So, how are you going to solve for X? Okay. Our first solution is, diba, same focal date. Okay? So, uh, let us have zero as our focal date. Okay, ne? present. Oh. So, ang sum sa ibabaw, set of obligations, with respect an in the focal date, will be equal to the sum of these payments with respect to the uh, focal date. So, kining upat ka payments sa uh, bottom, ato ni siyang kuhaan o value referred sa zero. And then, equate nato sa 
value sa taas. Now, since ang 1, ang 1 million and 200,000 coincides with the focal date, wala na siya factor. Uh, while getting 300,000, 400,000 and X considered to be F and project nimo you get P. Oh, get the equivalent present worth of 300,000, present worth of 400,000, and present worth of X. So, kaya sa X, i-project ni mo dire. As well as this. Project sa ni mo na dya. And then, 300. So, ang sum sa 200,000 plus this value, plus this value, and this one, is equal to 1 million. So, ang sama ni set of obligation equals sa sama ni na set of obligations with respect sa same na focal dip. So, yung na ni siya. So, solve for X. 1 million, no factor. Kaya yung nag-coincide siya. Same with 200,000, wala yung factor. The rest, if given ni solve for P, of course, pag backward ta, future to present, ang exponent is negative. Diba? Uh, so, 300,000. 1 plus i point to negative n. One period naman. From 300 from 300 to 0, that's only one period. 400,000 1 plus i, that's 3, three periods. 1, 2, 3. Negative 3. And then x na yun, 1, 1 plus i raised to negative 1. So, transpose this one, transpose uh, left, this one, transpose, and also this. After that, you divide this factor, 1 plus point to raise to negative 5. You can solve for x. And x is equal to 792,576. Uh, 792, okay. That's, that's option 1. Option 1 is, our focal date is 0. Okay. The second one is, we make our focal date as at 5. So, money itong reference na point. So, all payments i-project na to sa year 5. This one. So, ang 1 million, project na to liha, we get the value of F sa anin na amount, 1 million, equate na to sa present word sa isa bottom, uh, sa lower part. Ano, 400,000, this one, and then also 200,000. So, ang, the sum of X plus this value plus plus is equal to the present value of 1 million. So, Forward man ang, ang movement na to, then the exponent is positive. So to solve for x, we have this. 1 million times 1 plus i, positive, raised to 5. And then and 200, same also, 1 plus i raised to 5. So 300 raised to 4. Okay, 4 periods man. No? 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 400,000 squared lag to periods 1 and 2. Why lang x can coincide man? No factor. x lang. Can coincide with us of all day. Uh, same amount. It's 792,576. Okay. Option number 3. Option number three is this. Uh, atong focal date is wala sa, wala makoincide sa any of the payments. Instead, direta, year two. This is not a common style, no? Because the, the, the common na, common na style is, ang focal date ni mo, it's either P or F, zero or last payment. That's the usual, uh, na style, no? Pero ang, Kung ang focal date mo is wala sa payment, wala nag-consent sa payment, dili sa common na style. Anyway, wala lang ma-compare ma or demonstrate na same lang result na let's do this. 
Okay, so our focal date is at year 2. So, all payments project na to sa year 2. This one. Uh, project. Ano eh? This one. And then this one. So, uh, the equation is this value is equal to the sum of the four values. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, dili siya common because sometimes you get confused. Like for this one, if forward ni mo ang payment. For this one, backward. Diba? So you might you might get confused sa uh, exponent. Positive, negative. That is why uh, it's either P or F lang ang mong focal date. Para pag P, all payments, backward sa uh, negative exponent. And then pag Pag N, imo focal date, all payments if forward, positive ta ng exponent. Pero in this case, the mix man, ang 200,000, 300,000, and 1 million, positive ang exponent kay forward man. Whereas ang 400,000 and X, negative ang exponent kay backward man. Okay. So this is the equation. For 1 million, 1 plus i squared lang kay 2 pair views naman, 1, 2, same with 200,000. For 300,000, only 1, 1 lang na. 400,000, 1 also, pero negative, kay backwards. And then for x, 3, sa 3 pair views, 1, 2, 3. Same lang, transpose, 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 and then after that, i-divide naman din na factor. And you get X. 792,576. Ah. If you want na ang focal date is beyond 5, pwede na sa like 10. Ha? Kung ako dyan kailin nga, pwede mo sa 10. Project nyo mo tanan sa 10. Same lang. Same value of X. Ah, okay. So, para masabtan yun, let's have a practical, practical na analysis. Okay. This is the cash flow diagram. I-prove na ito na module to ang value sa X ba? This one. I-prove na ito na value. Okay. Sige. This is your time scale. Ayan isa. Practical na approach. The, the cash price is 1 million. Now, nag-down ka o 200,000. Therefore, ang balance ni mo, 800,000 na lang. Di ba? 1 million dapat ang cash. Nag-down ka o 800, ang balance ni mo is only 800,000. Now, itunong nato ulit sa year 1, nagbayad ka 300. Pero year 1, ang 800,000, mo-earn na siya interest. So, i-project na to year 1, Ang value uh, na will be 800,000 times 1 plus i raised to 1. What's the value? Oh, ano siya? 800,000 times 1.2 raised to 1. It becomes 960,000. Uh, so, ang, so, ang balance ni mo na 800,000 becomes 960,000 at the end of one year. Diba? Now, Next, Ana, is okay. Magbayad ka o 300. So, nagbayad ka 300,000. So, ang balance ni mo after paying 300,000 will now be 660,000. Na, i-coincide na to sa year 3. I-project na to nito sa year 3. Okay. So, that becomes this one. P times 1 plus I squared lang kay Duara mga period squared. So, ang 660,000 2 years after becomes 660,000 times 1.2 squared it becomes 950,400. So, kanina na utang ni mo may mo ni siyang 950,400 after 3 years. Ano? And then after that, nagbayad is it 400? 
So, this is your balance. And then, minus sa imong payment, ang imbalance ni mo, 550,400 na lang. After that, i-project na po ni mo sa year 5. Ano na saan ka? And the value is 792,576. So, ang, ang balance ni mo na 554 550,400 after 2 years becomes 792,576 and that is equal to x therefore x is equal to this one same or other now the other same so Again, ang sa equation of value, same lang. Same na focal date. But make sure na dili mag, dili mag shuffle ang payment. Okay. Para correct uh, solution. So it doesn't matter kung sa zero ka magbuhat ang focal date or sa last period or middle or itunong ni mo sa, sa payment. Same result. Kini yung practical analysis, okay rin siya. Basta kay dili lang dako ang value sa in. Yun na kung taas na dili niya sa maya. Okay? Ang purpose saan is just to demonstrate na yung nanao na dahil yapon. So I hope that you have learned something from this presentation. And thank you for watching.